Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Design Tech. And in today's episode, we are going to be finishing up our little ender storage project that we kind of started last episode and then realized we didn't have enough blaze rods. I ran back to the nether between episodes and got a few more. Uh, so we now have six blaze rods, and I also decided to make a diamond dolly and just grab the blaze spawner itself. So we actually have the blaze spawner itself with us now, uh, which will make this much, much easier. Um, so let's go ahead and see about crafting up that ender chest. And I know I'm going to need an ender pearl for that. And, oh, and I grabbed the wrong, I meant to grab the obsidian. There we go. And I think that's everything I need for the recipe. Ender storage. Here we go. So we're, oh, nope. Forgot a chest. I need an actual chest. There we go. Okay, so now we have the Ender Storage chest, and that thing is super, super useful, and you'll see why in just a minute. So, let's go ahead and make... Uh, let's use some Dark Oak. And let's just make a bunch of chests. Let's make like 32 chests, which is going to be way more than I actually need, but that's okay. Uh, and then... We'll go ahead and make a whole bunch of those into iron chests. Let's do maybe five. Let's do four. We'll say four iron chests. And then, do I want to turn those into gold chests right away? I really can't afford to. I'm thinking, I'm thinking we leave them alone. Uh, so then what we'll do is we will take our four iron chests that we have here and we'll go one, two, three, four, like so. And then I need a couple of these item ducts that we made earlier. And I thought I had... Oh, no, 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 I used it for the other thing, didn't I? Yeah, yeah, okay. So that's fine. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a servo as well. Uh, I'm going to need a little bit of... Invar, which it appears I do not have. Okay, let's go... Uh, let's see, Ritz... Uh, yeah, let's just make some more Invar. Not a big deal. So, we'll do that, and then it's... Nickel, I believe? Ferrisaur? Pretty sure that's the recipe. Two iron, one ferris? 99% sure. Guess we're gonna find out. Um... So, what we're ultimately going to set up here is a little bit of a system so that as we're out and about, I can put stuff into my ender pouch and it will then be taken from the ender pouch and deposited into these chests right here. And I'm just going to put this guy right here. You can set the frequency by dyeing these uh, if you want, but that's not really necessary since we're by ourselves. Uh, that's all good. So basically, we just need the actual servo itself. The other thing I should probably make, I don't think the ender chest chunk loads itself. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. So I think it would be very wise of me to make an ender uh, or a chunk loader right here. Oh, spot loader. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to make one of these. I'm going to make a chunk loader and we should be able to... I think we've got everything. Oh, wow. I am... I am, like, completely and totally out of diamonds. Okay, awesome. Um, let's see. Have I any paper? I have a little bit, but not enough. That's all right. I do have sugarcane. So let's make an enchantment table real quick. And there we go. And I'll just throw that in here. And then we need our Ender Pearl and some gold. And we'll go ahead and make this chunk loader right here, which I will just put, um, let's check the chunks. Okay, so, oh, hey, whoa, hey, whoa. What are you doing, inventory? So this is all one chunk, so I'm just going to put this guy here and we'll say one, show lasers just to make sure. Yep, it's all good. Hide the lasers. And it will load just this one chunk so that this thing is always loaded. 
uh, which is definitely a good thing in this case. Let's go ahead and hide the chunk thing. That's F9 if you're not familiar uh, when you have NEI installed. And in here we've got six Invar ingots. So let's get those poured out. And there we go. I will take those. Come on, spit them out. You can do it. One more. There we go. All right. So we got our Invar. Let's go ahead and make another one of those servos so that we can actually do what we need this thing to do. Awesome. So we'll just go servo, and there we go. We'll make two hardened ones and put this stuff all away like so. Organization, very, very important. Very, very important indeed. Why did I put those in there? That's not where they belong. Okay, so then we'll just throw this here and change it to ignored. So anything that's in here will end up in these chests. So let's go ahead and test that out. Let's put seven bread into the ender pouch. And you can see it disappears and it ends up right here. And it'll fill up first this one, then this, then this, then this, and so on and so forth. And we can upgrade these with additional storage space if we want. And eventually, once we get into an actual ME system from Applied Energistics, we can dump the stuff directly into our ME system, which is going to be super, super useful for us. So that's definitely a good thing. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to take our new blaze spawner that we just got right here, and I want to make a little bit of kind of a temporary blaze farm. So, there's a few options. I think we're going to want to use the fan uh, from Open Blocks, which is basically a slab, an iron ingot, and some bars. So let's grab some of this. Do I have any bars made? I do. Awesome. And then let's just grab... Uh, I, believe, I believe it works with stone slabs. I'm pretty sure. We're going to find out. Yep. Let's just make four of those. Actually, five of those. We'll make five. Because the room that we're going to set up is nine by nine. And I've actually already hollowed a good chunk of it out. So we'll do that. And then I need... Do I want... Hmm. Yeah. I think I want to use levers. Uh, so let's grab... One, two, three, four, five. That way this thing will always be on. And we'll go sticks. There we go. I'll make five levers. And that should be good there. Okay, so that's how we're going to move the blazes around. Now we need to figure out how we're going to kill them. So there's a few options. We've got the spikes right here. These things are pretty cool from Extra Utilities. Kind of pricey, though. Kind of pricey. Um... Iron spikes, diamond spikes, gold, all this stuff, kind of pricey. Um, I think a better option might be the harvester, or not the harvester, it's the grinder. Here we go. The grinder from MFR. This might be a better option for us. The bad thing is that means we're going to need power down there. But what we could probably do is hook up one of these guys uh, to it and just do it that way. So let's grab... Let's see about making one of these. Do I have a full? Oh, I do. Nice. I found that in the nether fortress. Awesome. So let me get everything together for the grinder, and I'll come back to you. All right, guys. I am back. So I've just got some rubber being uh, smelted up over here, rubber bars. And then we can re-smelt them and turn them into plastic sheets. Uh, they'll come out as raw plastic, and then we can turn that into plastic sheets because we need those to make the grinder. I do also want to upgrade our... Uh, alloy smelter a little bit and the way we're going to do that is with a uh, double layer capacitor so I'm going to need some pulverized coal and these do not require any but we'll throw that into here we'll grab this out and we'll go plastic sheets I'm going to need a little bit more of that we'll take our pulverized coal this is just going to smelt up into the rubber bars now and there we go. So we've got our plastic sheets that we need. Let's grab our stone and make some factory machine blocks. And then uh, we'll do the capacitors afterwards. 
So let's go. What was I making? Grinder. That's right. Grinder. Let's go ahead and make one of those guys. So, pretty easy. Nothing nothing super complicated there. Uh, the other thing that I'm going to have to make is another energy cell. And I've got enough for the invar. And I might actually... Oh, why do I have 30 electrum ingots? I have a feeling something blended that wasn't supposed to. Uh, anyway, so let's look at energy cells. And we've got a few options here. I think... I'm gonna go we'll, go, we'll start out with the uh, the leadstone energy cell, and then we'll make it a hardened one right away, so it holds 2 million RF, which should last a relatively long time. Um, that's all good, I need more glass, and I need an actual redstone block. So there we go, we'll make one of those. I believe this is an electrum, yes it is, let's grab that. And we'll make one of those, and then actually I need some copper as well. So we'll make a leadstone energy cell, and then we just surround it with invar, and that turns it into a hardened energy cell. Which is super, super useful. Now, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to swap these. So I'll take that one out and put the empty one here. And then we'll just configure it the same way, so it outputs from the bottom and inputs from the back. There we go. And then this thing will keep doing its, its thing. So that's all good. Now I want to go ahead and make the, uh, the capacitor upgrade for the uh, alloy smelter. So let's look at capacitors. And we're going to need two of these basic capacitors. So let's grab some gold and this and that. And we'll make two of those. And then to make the double layer, we're going to need a little bit of energetic alloy, which is gold, redstone, and glowstone. So I've got that. We need two gold ingots, and then I need two pieces of glowstone as well. I'm just going to take that out and put these guys in so those will smelt into the energetic alloy. And let's just put all of that in here. And we can go ahead and turn that into raw plastic sheets, or into plastic sheets as well. Okay, so that's all good. Um, am I missing anything? No, I don't think so. I think that's basically everything I need for this guy once these two are done. Anyway, there we go. There's one. What happened to the other? There was supposed to be two. Oh, you know what? It's smelting right now. That's right. It's Ender IO. The, the UI is a little funky. Like, you think that it's smelting, um, but it's actually in the smelter right now. And then when it's done, it'll spit it out here and eject it into this chest. There we go. Okay, so, coal in the middle, energetic, uh, actually just kidding, it's like that. And there's a double layer capacitor, we'll throw that into here, and this thing will then, um, basically work twice as fast. Now, uh, it also is gonna use considerably more energy, so that's something to keep in mind, but it will work twice as fast. Uh, we'll have to upgrade our energy storage system here relatively soon. Okay, so now the grinder. The grinder is going to do a few things. The grinder is going to output uh, a couple different things. Obviously, it's going to output mob drops, like blaze powder and uh, blaze rods and blaze stuff. So that's one thing to keep in mind, but it's also going to output some other stuff as well. So I'm going to go ahead and make myself a drum from extra utilities, like so. And I think it's only gonna have one output. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it only outputs one fluid. Um, but there's only, there's only one way to find out. Let's also go ahead and make ourselves one more iron chest. There we go. And then we're going to need I've got an item duct, I've got, you know what, we can, 
I think this is actually all we need. Um, I'm gonna take... I'll take the hardened servo, and I'm gonna make another servo. Uh, just a cheapo basic one. But I think... I'm pretty sure that this will work. We're gonna find out. Oh, hey, block. Ingots, thank you. So, servo. Let's just make two of those. Okay. So I think that's everything I need now to set this thing up. Let's grab one stack of cobble just in case. And we want to make sure as we're doing this that the only thing that can spawn down here is blazes. So we're going to light up this whole room, just torch spam everywhere. Because I, as far as I know, blazes are not affected by light levels. So that's good. Then we're going to go and I'm going to just make a little bit of like an access tunnel around the back of this building uh, or around the, the back of this place. Although I don't necessarily have to do it right here. Um, yeah, yeah, I will. Okay, so we'll do that. And let's see, this is the center, right? So one, two, three, four. So this needs to go one, two, three, four, five, six, and then turn here. Let me get this dug out, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I am back, and I think I now have everything ready that we're going to need to set up this blaze farm. I think we're good to go. So let's head on down, and the first thing that I want to do is go ahead and put levers underneath all the fans so that they turn on. This should be on now, right? Yes, good. And I've got basically an access tunnel that just kind of goes around all of them. Like so. Now the blazes are not gonna be able to spawn over here in these access tunnels because it's too far away from the, um, it's too far away from the spawner itself. The spawner is gonna go like right here, okay? So it should be fine. Um, I do want to take these out and do something like that. I feel like there was more... Oh, it's in my hand. There we go. So we'll put the blaze, the actual uh, thing, right here. Uh, but that's going to be the last thing that we do. All right, so there's that. Now the grinder is going to go right here. And I need to rotate it so it's facing the right direction. There we go. And then let's just bring this little bit out. Like so. And right here, I think, is where we'll put the energy cell. So we'll do that. And output to the right. This thing will fill up. And it's good. Okay. I'm going to put an iron chest right here. That's where it's going to output the uh, the mob stuff. And then we'll take our fluiducts and run them uh, like so. I need to actually get there. There we go. And we'll put this guy here. And I don't think I need a servo here, but I'm going to put one there just in case. There we go. Ignored. Awesome. And I think... I'm pretty sure that's everything. Uh, let's just steal a little bit of building blocks from over here. Just so I can fill some stuff in. It's not the best looking mob farm in the world, but I believe it will be functional. I'm pretty sure. So let's just put our blaze spawner there. And then I think I want glass in here so I can actually see inside and make sure that it's working. All those, those fans are pushing me, which is a little bit annoying, but it's okay. Did they push me out the door? They pushed me towards the door, but not out it. Uh, and I'm still close enough here. But you can see it is working. It's bringing the stuff back. Uh, we'll go ahead and fill those guys in as well. And then you can see pretty much this whole area. I think I want this up here to be glass as well. There. 
and then this grinder will just keep doing its thing. Just killing blazes. And that's going to get us sulfur. It's going to get us mob essence. And it's going to use a little bit of power, but this thing should last a relatively long time. Uh, so I think we'll be good. It's only going to basically need power when the when it actually kills stuff. Uh, and the fans are just pushing everything towards the center, right in front of the uh, grinder, which then kills the blazes and gives us blaze rods and essence. So, super simple blaze farm. Nothing, amazing, uh, nothing amazingly complicated. Gets the job done. Everything else is lit up in there, so the, this is the only spot that blazes can spawn. And, uh, or so only bl blazes can spawn in here. It looks ugly, but you know what? Maybe at some point we'll go back. Uh, in, in fact, almost positive. <laughs> I'm almost positive that either A, this farm is temporary and will be moved to a better location later that's more decorative, or B, we'll go in there and actually deck it out and make it look good. But guys, that is going to do it for this episode because I am out of time for this one. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.